Eric, I swear this is a true story. The last time I saw you in person, you were shirtless in, on a car driving around the parking lots at Jack Murphy Stadium. Do you recall that moment? <laughs> you must be talking about 25 years ago when Natron was probably on top of that car with me. <laughs> uh, I will say this, that was a great memory. It was 25 years ago and you always think after going through that, that, that particular moment in time that you would have that opportunity to do so again. It doesn't happen that way. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm placed in a situation where I get to be a part of it again with these young kids and our great staff. And I just told these guys, make the very most of it. Make sure you enjoy the bonds that are formulated, the friendships that have been established, but also understand the importance of making sure that you finish it the right way. It's kind of crazy. You're in the same, same city, back in Miami for the Super Bowl again, 25 years later, the same team. You have, you have more fun now or then? How can you compare the two? You know, I don't even know if you can compare it. That was a different time, and do not get me wrong, that was a great time and a great moment in my life. This is, you know, it's 25 years later, so it's a great moment in time in, in my life right now. And I always share this, too. I put a little pressure on some of those guys. I said every championship that I've ever been a part of has taken place down here in Miami. With two, we played for two national championships, and we came down here and played for the Super Bowl. So hopefully we can finish this the right way. Uh, we, won, we won one national title. <laughs> <laughs> from, from what you observed, the year that Alex Smith was here with Mahomes, what did that mean to Mahomes? I think it meant a lot. I mean, what better way? I remember when I came in the league, that's how it used to be. You draft a quarterback, you had a veteran in there that helped the process. And it wasn't that Alex was taking him by the arm and saying, hey, you got to come with me. No, it was just his attitude and his approach to coming to work every single day. Alex came to work early every day. Alex studied. He took, I mean, immaculate notes. He stayed late. He took care of his body. Okay? So what better role model for Pat to have in the building with him to learn what it takes to become a professional? I mean, hell, Alex has been playing for a number of years. If anything, if I'm a young quarterback, I'm going to tag along and watch this guy every single day and watch how he handles his business.